Do you want to go through this whole course again? Is it the place to hit? Where's my drink? Did you buy my drink as well? Oh, yeah, heavyweight drink. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, I'm a serious lightweight, and she's the complete opposite. Like, she needs to drink a whole big fat bottle, of course. Guys, yeah. I've never been drunk before. Is that a good thing, guys? Oh, no. That means she's a, well, I'm a cheat date, like, you can just buy me a glass of wine and boom, um, and she needs 10 bottles of kombucha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Does this mean that she's been drinking? <laughs> does, she, does this mean that she's been drinking loads of alcohol? No, it does not mean that I've been drinking mean, loads of alcohol. Guys, has she been drinking bare alcohol <laughs> behind, everyone, behind closed doors? I don't know, I don't know, okay. because this immunity that she's got, Towards alcohol, Man. I don't understand it. It's not true. Me, I'm really fine. Making me feel this way. Oh my god, be Dallas. Don't wanna lose to someone else. I know you gotta go where you stay. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I've got a special guest. Woo! <laughs> oh god. Hi guys. I've, I've got a special guest. This is my youngest sister um as you know i did a get to know me tag and i said i've got three sisters and this is the youngest one do you want to introduce yourself to my youtubers hi guys my name is <laughs> Tracy. um i'm 18 that's basically my age that's right like really. yeah she's 18 years old i just thought you know what let me just bring her on here um and drag her on here drag <laughs> Do you know what guys, she's young, like she's 18, you know, a lot of these 18 year olds or teenagers, they're very like uptight and not too confident and da da da, you know, she needs to come out of her shell a little bit, like, <laughs> I've had enough, so it's time for me oh. to drag her and she needs to start, you know, exploring life, exploring herself, you know, learning things about herself and I thought, do you know what? I'm dragging you onto my YouTube channel, so I called her and I said, You're like, don't say no. She didn't say hi, she's like, don't say no. <laughs> Do you want to be my YouTube channel? <laughs> I called her, I said, Yeah, don't say no. Um, yeah, can you be my YouTube channel? Yeah. So, um, oh, the reason why I brought her on here is because I've had quite a few, like, 15 to 19 year olds, um, I'm older, but 15 to 19 year olds that, I was, that actually quite surprised me. Um, they've asked me quite a few questions about like prop, prop, um, questions relating to my career and questions relating to property and I thought wow 15 to 19 year old like when I was 15 to 19 year old, years old I was not thinking about property or okay I kind of thought about my career I was thinking of like the directions to head towards but I really was not thinking about buying a house I didn't even think about it but I've had quite a few arcs me questions relating to these things and I thought you know what I've got an 18 year old sister let me just drag on my YouTube I'm not sure what we're going to talk about but um I know she feels like I've put her on the spot because I haven't told her what we're going to speak about I'm not gonna lie I don't even know what we're going to speak about but I'm just gonna let the conversation flow and let the video flow um I did put on my Instagram um that I will be bringing my little sister on here on here um, and I did ask whether you guys had some questions for her. Some people had some questions. It's not a lot of questions, but I thought, you know what, let me drag her on here anyway, because it may mean that next time you see her, you have more questions for her um, from this video. So without further ado, um, let's get into the video. Perhaps we should start with, okay, before I dive into the questions you guys have asked, I just wanna know, like, what it's like in your generation are people thinking about buying houses at this age and are people thinking about their career like what is it like are people's heads in the right space see um i can't really speak for my generation right why I've you got bare friends okay she has got bare friends no. so she be able to i can't really speak for my generation right but what mm. i will say is that from what i see i think it's I think it's 50-50. So quite a few people thinking about actual buying a property? Yeah. At 18? Yeah. That's really good. So what, like, what kind of things do they talk about? Like, 
So no, I literally have a friend who's saving with her. Oh wow. Yeah, with her other half. What? Right now for property. Her uh, other oh, half? Yeah. Wowzers, guys, this, their generation is advanced. Ah, uh, well, my generation. Saving to buy. No. Probably saving to buy your next birthday present. <laughs> Bloody. That's really good. I'm very impressed with that. Um, what's. I've never asked her this, by the way, but what's your mentality in terms of buying a property? So obviously, do you feel like it's a priority? Do you feel like it's one of the next steps you need to start taking now or later? Okay, so personally, I think it's okay, it is a priority, right? However, I'm not making it my number one priority at the moment. Right now, I'm focusing on my career, getting to where I want to be in the future, and getting to university. That's 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 the yeah. cure. <laughs> Yeah, so she's really looking forward to going to uni, I'm not going to lie. I was so ready to go to uni. Got my 18 inch weave. This is all I was thinking about, imagine. I got 18 inch weave, I walked into uni. And at the time, it was my first time getting Brazilian hair, so I was so excited. She's been rocking, rocking um, Brazilian. In fact, she her first wig from me, guys, she asked for the my top quality hair. I was like, you're 16. 16? 15? 16. From, how old are you from? 16. I just thought, this is ridiculous. My mum literally not saved ridiculous. money. Anyway, it, ser it served her until now. She still has it, has it now. But do you know what? Let's dive into these questions and get the conversation flowing. Okay, so guys, these are the questions that you guys have asked. It's not that much. Some of it is, um, sorry, this drink is just sitting in my chest. <laughs> um, some of the questions you guys asked is not relevant to her, um, but if I can answer it, I will answer it. Um, answer it. Somebody said, why is a social work course hard, harder than the job? I'm in year two and want to quit so bad. Don't quit. It is harder. You're nearly there. You're halfway there. Just Year three is a little, just a tad easier. Year two is the hardest, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, the course is just harder than the career. I think the career is just, it's still hard. Don't get it twisted. Um, but in terms of the the, the academics, it's, I think it's harder because you're learning about psychology, you're learning about law, you're learning about social policy, you're learning about all these things. You're learning about human growth and development. You're learning about different things combined. Um, I think that's probably why it's just harder. Like they're just literally trying to prepare you, make sure you actually prepare for the job, basically. Basically, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, basically they're trying to prepare you for the job because social work is a very broad, like we deal with complex cases, complex issues, and it could be anything. It could be something to do with the law. Could be something to be. Uh, could be something to do with human growth and development, could be something to do with anything. And I think, yeah, of course, like she said, that's what she said. Yeah. On the social work salary, I do apologise. My followers are very obsessed with social work. Um, on a social work salary, is it possible to buy a house at 25? Yes, it is possible to buy a house at 25. Um, as soon as I finish graduation, how long will it take to find a £50,000 salary job? It could be instant, depending on the job. Um, mine was not £50,000 when I first started, that's for sure. But yeah, depending on the job, you just never know. Um, wow. Is it too late to apply for postgraduate social care as Vera May? Babe, I don't have a clue. Check all the university opening times and all the applications. Well, you should know. I don't know. When did you apply for uni? In November. And yeah, so early November and UCAS closed in late January, early January. Okay, so it's probably late. I'm not sure though, I'm not sure. Um, so find out. Some, oh, this is a question for you. Someone said, what's the best advice your big sister has given you that you have found, <laughs> that you have found? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Sorry. What's the best advice your big sister has given you that you have found useful? Well, bear in mind, you do have three big sisters.
but they are referring to me just to be clear. Um, giving you so much advice. I haven't given you advice today. Um, I don't want to say it was boy related. Why? It could be anything. I think it was boy related. So it's related to boys. What did I say? But it was what I said to you when um, we were with Kalisha. No. Listen, guys. I'm on the sport. It's fine. Um, what boy related one are you talking about? Like, um, literally. Do you want to come back to the question? Yeah. Okay. Guys, we're going to come back to that question. Because she can't think, she feels like I've got her on the spot. Um, hmm. How was the mansion party with your chauffeur slash bodyguard, Steph? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me just explain. <laughs> let me just explain the um, context oh behind my this God. question. Someone said, how was the mansion party with your chauffeur slash bodyguard, Steph? Basically, guys, I'm the best big sister ever because this one decided to go to a mansion party in West Margate, yeah. it's Westgate, yeah. the seaside. Guys, we're talking a mansion party, and we're party. These parties are not starting at six o'clock in the p six p.m., eight p.m., nine p.m. They actually started at eight p.m. But there was <laughs> one two people there. Cut long story short. I gave up my whole Saturday, or was it Friday? I think you enjoyed it though. You did enjoy it, didn't I? I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> I, I didn't not enjoy it, but I didn't enjoy it. I wasn't having fun. Like, I gave up my whole... I was so sleepy, I had to buy live on Monster energy drinks to drive her and her friend. Well, <laughs> they got dressed at my, at my house, did their makeup. Um, we got there at 1 o'clock in the morning. No, we actually got there late. Yeah, we got there oh at 1 o'clock in the day. morning. There were all these teenagers shouting outside of the mansion party. And it wasn't even a mansion. It was a house. And the thing is, when she said to me, I'm going to the mansion party, I said, it's not a mansion. I bet you it's not a mansion. It's going to be a house. And it was a house. Anyway. Yeah, it was a big house. It was... It a was, big house. Okay, I didn't go inside, so I don't know what it was like inside. But it looks decent from the outside. The balcony was all glass and stuff, whatever. I sat in my car. I put my seat all the way down. And I had my blanket. And I had, like, a headscarf. Like, I just looked like... You were getting G-checks, man. <laughs> and then all these little... Fr her little friends... You was getting G-checks. Boxed, boxed to my car. <laughs> like, they were all looking in the car to see who's in it. I was thinking... <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> and they came to my window. I was like, "What are you doing?" Oh, a party at it? Anyway, anyway, that's the context of the. So this person that's asking the question obviously knows about the story. Um, and to be honest, it is my colleague because she knew what was going down that weekend. But anyway, um, yeah. So how was the mansion party? It was a good party with your chauffeur slash bodyguard. It was a good night. It was a good party. It was good vibes. Good food. Shout out to Oyinsky's kitchen. But, but, yeah, her food taste is supposed to be brought. Yeah, I bought you She bought me some food to the car. Yeah. How nice. That was really nice because I was not expecting that. She bought a big plate of food and I sat in the car and munched it all. It was nice. Um. So, yeah, shout out to Oyinka's kitchen. Oyinsky. Oyinsky's kitchen. Yeah. Food's lovely. Um, somebody said more property related content, please. Um... What do you think about the fact that I bought a house? Did you think I was going to buy a house? Mm -hmm. Okay, consider it. Okay, no, let's rewind. Considering like the type of teenager that I was and the type of sis, I don't want to say the type of sister. Like, no, considering knowing me, did you see this happening? Yes. Did you? I don't think negatively for my sisters. Oh. Like, I just thought it was a phase, literally, she was going through, she thought she was a gangster when she was a teenager, right? It was just, it was, <laughs> it was just a phase. It was just a phase. 
no, 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 okay, I did not think I was a gangster every minute. <laughs> what do you I was a gangster. Don't get it. Check it. What did you say? You're then like, don't even mention that. <laughs> How do you go? You know when people talk and you go, do. How do you meet this part? The name of it. I need to meet what she just said. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it's nice she actually didn't doubt me. No. Good. That's excellent. <laughs> um, the best way for someone young to start preparing to buy their home as early as possible. Okay. I will give a little bit of advice with that, but mm -hmm. what's your view and what would you advise, what advice would you give yourself at your age in terms of like buying a property? So I would have advised you to make sure you have an ISA. What advice yourself? Oh yeah, however, your people, then. however, ISAs, they stopped um, opening applications for ISAs in November, didn't yeah. they? So. We made you get one though. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, so you managed to get one. But do you think it was a good idea that you got one? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I think for your age, 100% it is a good thing getting an ISA. Um, but I say get a Monzo account, create a pot and start saving inside that pot. What, in a, on, a, on your Monzo? Yeah, on your Monzo because there's no... Have you got a Monzo? Yeah. Well, I don't know these things because we don't live together anymore. Mm. Um, but... Okay, so that's the advice you're giving everyone. So if you don't have a Monzo account and you're 18 years old plus, you better get it. Get one, guys. Get it's one. Really What's so good about it? You can't access the money. Well, you can, but you can't. It's quite, it's not like, yeah, boom, 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 yeah. spend. Okay. How? Sorry, carry on. Go on, say what you're going to say. I'm not waved, I'm not tipsy, guys. I'm not drunk, and I'm no, concerned. Okay, let, me, let me give you guys I'm concerned. I'm concerned, concerned cuz she's <laughs> had more drink than me. I'm so concerned. What I had, I had like a shot of Corvossier mixed with lemon juice, um, still lemonade. She had a porn star martini and a shot of um, um, Corvossier. She wasn't waves. I said, okay, cool. I gave her a shot of Corvossier on its own. Still, we have this macho man standing. Guys, you know what? Alcohol is a big scam. Let's just put it as that. <laughs> Alcohol is a scam. What you scam? I'm still here, I'm still fine. You know, you do have people that are like heavyweight champions. I have a lot of friends that need to, that they can back a whole bottle of wine and they're tipsy and they can back another whole bottle of wine, then they're probably drunk. I just need a glass. I like that. Yeah. Sorry. Um, what did I say? Yeah. How to handle the first year of university. Obviously, you're not in your first year of uni yet, mm -hmm. but she will be in September. Um, I'm hoping she starts her own YouTube channel. No, and that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening. Okay, because she, well, I'm gonna <laughs> drive her here. I'm gonna drive her here again um, when she starts uni, just so she can give you guys a little bit of what first year uni is like. But um, and I have a lot of questions for you around those times because mm. obviously I've been through it, and you know. Hello. But um, obviously you're going to start in September. What are your thoughts? What are you looking forward to? And what are you looking like the least forward to? See, I would have said freshers. However, we don't know if freshers is happening because of coronavirus. Coronavirus! Literally. We don't know if it's happening. We don't know if we're having online freshers. We don't know what's happening. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to study something that I enjoy. I'm, getting forward, I'm looking forward to getting away from home. I literally am so far away. <laughs> no, don't be too happy that you're far I'm away. So far away from home. I have my own accommodation. We are new people. I can't wait. Do you, do you want to tell people what you're going to study? So she went, yay! I'm not, I'm not joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Should I tell them? Evil idea. So when you meet people, oh fine guys. I'm no, 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 you don't have to if you don't want to, if you don't feel comfortable, but when people say, oh, what's going to study? And I said, am I going to say no, I'm not saying. Or are people going to see you on the course? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the Nigerian in her. She said evil eye. Um, anyway, anyway guys, no, we're covered with the love of Jesus, so Jesus. no repercussion against us. Shall prosper. Jeez. <laughs> so yeah. So what are you going to study? So guys, I'm going to study law. Are you excited? I'm so excited. Why? I'm actually studying something that I am interested in. 
okay, that's really good. I think that's really good. Law is a good thing to study. Um, as long as you take it, like, way to the end and just, mm -hmm. you know. But I trust her. I trust you. She's one of the smart ones in my family. Um, I try, I which try. is good. Really proud of her. I've always said that, yeah, I've got a teenage sister, but she's actually the best teenager I've ever met. Have, you, have I told you this? You never told me this! Maybe I didn't tell her because I wanted her to work a bit harder. But I always say that like, she's actually like the best teenager that I know. Like she's not like <laughs> rowdy teenagers. She's got her head on her shoulders. And I just had to commend my mum at this point because none of us are hoes, you know. Like, so <laughs> <laughs> like none of us are hoes. None of us are, you know, wayward girls. Like to be fair, so people sometimes see me and think I'm one of these girls, but. The people, get, the, the, people, the people think that about you when they see you. Yeah. Yeah, like people just have this impression that, yeah, you know, we're actually decent girls and, you know, we know how to have fun and we know how to do what we need to do to get it done. Good but job. yeah, no, she's actually a really good, she's been a good teenager, Thank even you. though we've been through ups and downs, but that's normal. It's nothing compared to the teenagers I meet on my job. Um, so yeah, let me, not, let me stop talking so her head doesn't. <laughs> grow bigger and bigger that it can't we can't come out of this kitchen guys i filmed in my kitchen today i've never filmed in my kitchen before i know you can't tell because it's a white background but in my kitchen did you answer the question about the best way for someone young to start preparing to buy their home as early as possible i think i replied with the ones that i can't think oh so that's the preparing she's lucky she's got me that's been through the process because I can just like yeah. you know make her start at a certain point and just keep her in check and tell her what to do in XYZ. Um, it says the last question is social work for younger people like 18 years of age. I'm not sure what this person means by this but social work for young people like 18 years of age you just have to apply at this at 18 you need to be applying for the course. Any of, any of your friends um, applied? Social work. Yeah. I'm excited. They actually watch your channel as well. Um, yeah. They watch my channel, obviously. Lovely. Yeah, I guess they're excited. Everyone's excited. Do you even talk to them about it? They don't ask you questions because it's just on social work. No. They'll get there. What? what? The best advice that she's given me. Ah! Let's go back to the question. Someone said, oh yeah, she hasn't answered mm. this. Somebody said, um, What's the best advice your big sister has given you that you have found useful? Like literally, this this has stuck with me from childhood. Like from my childhood, this has stuck with me, right? Mm -hmm. If you don't listen, bad things will happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I used to say that every time from when you were, yeah, probably three yeah. years old or something. If you don't listen, bad things will happen. happen. Like every time she'll go and she'll think she knows, it all, <laughs> and she'll go and she'll do what you she's been asked not to do. <laughs> bad thing happen. She won't even learn from that situation. She'll come and do it again. Bad thing happen. I said if like if you don't listen, bad things will happen. And guys, when we're at this age, like it's very difficult to listen to your mum or your older sister because you feel like they're nagging or you feel like. They're just talking too much or they don't know or what do you think when I'm talking too much? Because sometimes I know I talk too much, but it's like I need to get it out. I just feel like sometimes it's a thing where let me see for myself. This is what she likes. Let me see for myself. Then I can learn from it. Do you get it? Which is fair enough. Like I know that like, that's how she that's how she likes to learn. She likes to put Sadly. herself inside fire Sadly. and get burned. <laughs> so sad no, and but I, it makes you stronger do you get it sometimes you don't have to go through what makes you stronger no, you don't have to go through it <laughs> sometimes you don't want to go through it like it's long like if you know someone that's been through it <laughs> you might as well just learn from their mistakes like okay yeah there's some things that i actually want to step my foot into but yeah some things i'm just like you know what let me go see for myself and then she'll get in trouble after it like what was the reason? What was the reason? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, I guess that's the only advice. That's the best advice I've given you. That is the best advice. I've given her loads of advice, but I guess that kind of covers 
everything in a nutshell. If you don't listen, bad things will happen. Period. Period. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for listening. I just thought I should bring my sister on here. Um, maybe it was five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, but I just really wanted to bring her onto my YouTube channel. Um, just because, you know, why not? Uh, and we're doing yin and yang vibes at this point. Doing Adidas. <laughs> Adidas. Um, I can't see a neon, but doing tiny colours or whatever. You know, whatever. But yeah, um, thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video. Please make sure you like, subscribe and you give this video a big thumbs up and like, comment and subscribe to Wonders World. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Thank you so much guys. Thanks, bye.